Welcome to the Solution BHM6 setup tutorial for iPhone users. In this video, I'll walk you through the basic steps of setting up the HM6 to connect it to a nearby router and set up the upload schedule. Let's start. Before we proceed with the actual setup, let's go over five crucial steps that you need to perform first. One, make sure you have an iPhone 8 or newer. The iPhone SE, second generation, works well and is an economical alternative. It isn't necessary to have a phone plan as long as the phone is Wi-Fi connected. 2. Download the Solution VBware app from the Apple App Store to your iPhone. 3. Make sure you have set up a Solution V account. 4. Make sure that you have logged into that account on the VBware phone app. And 5. Make sure that you are within Wi-Fi range of your router and that you know the exact spelling of the router password. Check the knowledge base for instructions and videos if you have any questions on performing these preparatory steps. Now, open the Beware phone app. Right now, the app is displaying the empty monitor list screen. Select the HM5 HM6 icon at the bottom of the screen and the ready to scan screen will appear. Now, with the empty monitor list showing, read the HM6 by touching the phone up against the electronic module. We are showing four sequential reads for demonstration purposes, in normal operation just one read is needed. The iPhone connects best with the phone top edge touching the center portion of the electronic module, and the back of the phone, almost, but not quite, flush with the module positioned at an angle of about 20 degrees. Notice that one tile is now on the monitor list. Subsequent monitors are added to the list when they are read. Tap on the circled eye on the right side of the tile to pull up the feature menu of that desired monitor. Select HM6 settings from the feature menu. Establish another connection between the phone and the electronic module. At first, a short NFC connection is made. NFC wakes up the HM6, followed by a Bluetooth connection. The Bluetooth connection between the HM6 and the phone remains active even after pulling the phone back from the electronic module. The HM6 settings menu displays various options, including the Wi-Fi setup, upload schedule, and a few device management options such as factory reset. Let's first select the Wi-Fi setup option. To set up your Wi-Fi, you first need to select your router, also known as the Wi-Fi SSID. Select your router when it appears on the scroll wheel, or after pressing Wi-Fi scan. As a second step, insert the Wi-Fi password for that router, then press the blue configure button in order to write that router name and password into your HM6. The router status will indicate, connected, once the HM6 has found the router. If the HM6 does not connect, repeat the process making sure that you type the password correctly. In almost all cases, the cause of a non-connection is due to a misspelled password. Now, let's go back to the HM6 settings screen by tapping the back arrow in the top left corner of the screen. Proceed to the upload schedule. The default upload time is 9 p.m., standard time. If your region implements daylight savings time, then a 9 p.m. upload will actually occur at 10 p.m. in the summer. You may add uploads, but there must be a minimum of one upload time per day. Note that each additional daily upload reduces the battery life of the HM6. When finished setting the upload schedule, write the new schedule to the HM6 by pressing the blue configure button. You are done. A grayed out screen indicates that the Bluetooth connection has ended and is no longer established. Press the back button on the upper left corner of the screen to return to the monitor list. If correctly configured, your HM6 will now continuously upload its data to the cloud according to the upload schedule you specified. Check the web app, go to www.solutionv.com, then my solution B, to view your data. Note that it might take a day or two for the HM6 to report regularly at the scheduled times. The reason is that, by design, the amount of data uploaded at one time is limited, in order to maximize battery life. Therefore, the upload schedule is initially a bit irregular if the HM6 has accumulated a lot of data since the last upload. If you would like to tear, or zero out your scale, check the knowledge base on how to perform this operation. Congratulations, you have successfully set up your HM6. Here are some troubleshooting tips. If you get errors while trying to use the app, make sure your phone is connected into the internet via Wi-Fi is enough, and that you are logged into your Solution B account. If the HM6 does not connect to your router, make sure that you have entered the correct password for that router. 
Also, make sure that your router is close enough to the HM6. It is highly recommended to perform the setup at home or in the office first, before installing the HM6 under the hive. You will also want to perform a tear, or zeroing, before installing the monitor under a hive. Check out our other video in the knowledge base for how to perform a tear on the HM6. The Bluetooth connection will eventually time out after a longer period of inactivity. If that happens, just restart the procedure from the beginning, that is, select the correct HM6 from the monitor list and then tap the configure device icon again. Email support at solutionb.com if you have any further questions about the setup procedure or check the knowledge base. We are here to help and we love to assist our customers in helping them use their new equipment.